Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Lipsa again with you. So in this video, I am going to explain how to install AWS CLI and configure it on Windows machine. Also, I will show you one demo that how we can perform certain operations in S3 bucket using AWS CLI. So let's get started guys then. So what is AWS CLI then? AWS Command Line Interface is an open source tool that enables you to interact with AWS services using commands in your command cell. Okay. So whatever operations we do perform by using AWS Management Console, we can do all those things by using AWS CLI as well. So like we can create DynamoDB table, we can create the S3 bucket and launch an EC2 instance. Also we can create IAM policy by using AWS CLI. So to get hands-on experience in AWS CLI, let's first quickly install AWS CLI in our machine. Then we'll configure it in our machine and we'll see how we can do certain operations in S3 bucket by using AWS CLI commands. Okay. So then let me go to my browser and search for AWS CLI install. Okay. So here you can see installing or updating the latest version of AWS CLI link. Please click on this link. So here according to your operating system, we can go for Linux, Mac OS or Windows. So for this video tutorial, we are going to install AWS CLI in Windows machine. So let me expand the Windows section from here. Then click on this link to download AWS CLI MSI installer in your machine. So let me click on this link. So I'll share this uh, link in the description box so that you can directly download from there as well. So my AWS CLI is downloaded now. You can see here. Let me go to the download section. Here you can see AWS CLI is there. So just click on here to install it in your machine. So the steps are very easy to install AWS CLI. Just click on next here. Just check on this box. I accept the terms in the license agreement. Then click on next. Then here you can see the installation path is showing and if you want you can change the path as well. So I will go for the default one. So let me click next then click install. So it will take some time to install the AWS CLI. So just wait for it. Then click on finish to finish the installation process. Okay, so now how to check your AWS CLI is installed properly or not? Just go to your search bar here and open the command prompt. Okay, so this is the command prompt. Just type AWS hyphen hyphen version. So if you see the output like this, then we are sure that AWS CLI is installed properly in our machine. See AWS CLI, the version is showing over. Here, that means AWS in install correctly in our machine. So our first step is done to install AWS CLI in Windows machine. Now we'll configure it. So to configure AWS CLI, we need the AWS credential. So it will ask for four things. One is AWS access key, secret access key, then your region name and the output format. So we need to generate the AWS credential to configure AWS CLI. So how we can generate the AWS credential? So you know we can generate the AWS cred credential by using IAM service of AWS. So let me go to my AWS management console. So I am already logged into my AWS management console. See here, just search for IAM. So we need to go to the services of AWS, IAM service and we need to create our user to get the AWS access key and secret access key. So I hope you know how to create the access key and secret key. If you don't know, let me show you here only. Okay, so this is the IAM dashboard. Please click on the user section. So here I have one AWS CLI user I have already created. So this is there. Let me create another user to show you how we can create the user. So click here add user section. Okay, here you can provide your username. So let me give my username like uh, 
demo user let's say i'm getting so here i want the access key programmatic access so enables an access key id and secret access key for the aws api cli sdk and other development tools i'll go for this option programmatic access i need so click here next then we need to create a group and we'll attach this group to this user so let me create a group as well so let me give the group name like demo group here you can give your name according to your use so i am just give like this demo group then i need the administrator administrator access for this group provide full access to aws services and resources so i check this one and i create the group so click here to create a group now demo group is created okay so click here next then you can provide a tag so tag key and value you need to provide so let me give the key like here also i am going with any name like demo key okay value is optional so no need to give the value so let me click here to review okay so our demo user is created and the group is demo group and we have given the programmatic access with an access key okay so you can review here from the review page and click here to create your im user click here to create your user okay so demo user is now created you can download the csv file from here which contains your access key and secret key also you can copy the access key and secret key from here and we can use it for future uses okay so now my access key and secret access key i have created by using the im service of aws so now let's come back to our command prompt again so now we we'll configure AWS CLI as we have the access key and secret key with us. So type AWS configure here. Okay. So it will prompt you to provide your access key. So go to your console here. Copy this access key and paste it over here. Okay. Now it will ask you for the secret access key. So this is nothing but your secret access key. Let me copy here. And go to the command prompt and paste it over here. So now it will ask for the default region or name. So you can provide the default region or you can provide your nearest region. Let's say I am providing the uh, region like Asia Pacific Mumbai AP South one. Okay. So I'll provide this one. You can provide the default region as well or you can provide your region. So now it will ask me for default output format. So AWS CLI accept certain output format if i click here then you can see configure aws cli section you can see the output format here output format is json also other format is available but default one is json if you not provide the uh, output format then it will automatically pick up json see here output format json yaml yaml streams text and table is there so default output format is what json okay so let me go with the default one so json so now our configuration is done okay so now we have installed aws cli and also we configured aws cli in our windows machine by providing the access key secret access key default region and default output format understood so that is done now we'll see how we can interact with our s3 bucket by using AWS CLI. So let me use here another command like AWS S3 ls. Okay, I want to see what are the things present inside my S3 services. Let me hit enter here. Okay, so here you can see one bucket is present inside my S3. Okay, so if I go to my AWS management console and search for S3, see here this is the bucket. Also, using the command, we can see this is the bucket lambda test event. So now, by using the CLI uh, commands, we can create S3 bucket as well. So how we can create? Let's see here. So by using mb command AWS S3. So this is must AWS S3. We are going to delete the S3. So that's why AWS S3. Then mb mb means what? Make bucket. Okay. So we'll create the bucket. So just mark here mb s3 colon double slash. So after that we'll give our bucket name. Okay. 
so let me give my bucket name like uh, my sc bucket demo i am just giving any random name okay my sc bucket demo then click enter see make bucket my s3 bucket demo is created successfully so if i go to my aws management console again and refresh it then i can see one bucket is added over here okay see my s3 bucket demo is created successful in asia pacific region okay so now we will perform some operation inside this s3 bucket so if i will do now aws s3 ls then i can see two bucket is present inside my s3 services okay so now we will add some object inside our s3 bucket this my s3 bucket demo will add some file to this s3 bucket so how we can add some file so let's say you want to copy something from your local directory to this bucket so how we can do this we can provide the source from where we want to copy and provide the target to which location we want to copy that file okay so for that we can use the command like aws s3 then copy command cp then we'll provide our source so my source says let me go to my c directory inside this one so inside this lipsa i have a image so i want to upload this image to my s3 bucket okay so let me copy this part go to my command front paste it over here then slash uh, what is that file name aws okay aws dot PNG. This is a PNG file. This is my source to which I want to copy to this location. To this S3 bucket, I want to copy my file. So this is my target. Okay. So if I hit enter, okay, you can see upload is there. So from my local directory to my S3 bucket, remote S3 bucket, a file is uploaded. So if I go to my AWS management console and go inside to this s3 bucket then you can see a uh, object is uploaded to this bucket aws.png okay so you can imagine by using a simple command we can move our file or copy our file from one our local directory to remote aws s3 bucket also we can delete this file also we can download this file to our uh, local directory so let me do one thing let me delete this file from here and I will now download this file from my S3 bucket okay and save it to my local directory so how I can do this I will just simply use that copy command I will just change the source and target so in this case my uh, source is this one from this location from this S3 bucket and this file aws.png I want to download to my local directory so I want to download it to my See only. Okay, to this location, I want to download this aws.png file from my S3 bucket. So use this command and click enter. You can see download is there. Okay, that means from our remote location, this aws.png file is downloaded to our local directory to this location. See, we have deleted this aws.png file, but now it is restored also. Okay, so now we'll see how we can remove that file from our S3 bucket. So by using this command AWS S3, then RM to remove a file will use RM. Then we want to remove which one? We want to remove this file AWS.png. Okay, so from this S3 bucket inside this I have the AWS.png file. I want to remove this one. So click enter. See, this AWS.png file is deleted. So if I go to my AWS management console and refresh it, then you can see there is no object inside this bucket. See, that AWS.png file is deleted from my S3 bucket. So you can delete the S3 bucket as well by using the command AWS S3 then RB. Okay, that means remove bucket RB. So I can provide the bucket name. So this is my bucket name. I can provide this bucket name here and it will delete my bucket. Which bucket we have created my S3 bucket demo that will be deleted from here. So if I go to my Amazon S3 buckets, 
then we have only one bucket. Let me replace it. Okay, see, so only one bucket is present. Our my ST bucket demo bucket is deleted. Okay, so you can imagine how easy it is by running a simple command. We can deal with any AWS services. So we have seen how we can do a certain operation in S3 bucket by using our AWS CLI commands. So that's it guys. So today we learn how we can install AWS CLI in our Windows machine, how we can configure it and also we have seen how we can use the AWS CLI commands to do certain operations in AWS S3 bucket. So that's it for today's video guys. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to see more videos like this. See you in my next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Thank you.